A new Kansas law is getting national attention, but some say it's not for the right reasons. Governor Sam Brownback signed the HOPE Act into law today. He says it's the most comprehensive welfare reform any state has enacted, but some critics think it goes too far. Now at 5, KSNT News' Caitlin Berry checked in with Kansans to find out what they think about the change. Kansans like this are outraged. Outraged that new restrictions on welfare say recipients can't use cash assistance at places like swimming pools, nail salons, or movie theaters, just to name a few. I think it's mean spirited. Richard Jackson isn't alone. The law is now receiving national attention. Just last week on The Daily Show, John Stewart joined the conversation. So if you're on welfare in Kansas, you can cross this mall off your list. That's just one example of the criticism Kansas is facing. But beyond those restrictions, Governor Sam Brownback says the law also supports employment programs and should reduce dependence on state aid. It gives hope and help to thousands of Kansans that they can break the cycle of poverty. Former welfare recipient Valerie Cahill thinks the new rules are fair and set realistic expectations about aid being temporary. When you go into it knowing that, then it's be easier for you to get involved in a work program and move forward with your life. Richard Jackson agrees getting people jobs is a good thing. His problem with the law is how it makes all welfare recipients look greedy. You're painting that they're that they're shiftless. They're they're trying to rip off the the system, and you know when you when you stop and you think, everybody gets something from the system. Jackson believes anyone could be a paycheck away from needing assistance, and no one should feel demonized when asking for help. The Department for Children and Families will continue monitoring the changes over the next year, and if they find something isn't working, Governor Brownback says they're more than willing to reevaluate the law. Caitlin Berry, KSNT News. Those new restrictions go into effect starting on July 1st. For a full list of the new restrictions, you can visit the news links section on KSNT.com.